So welcome one and all to our live coverage of the ongoing group stage here, the tournament making steady progress towards its knockout phase. We'll be ready to go once the final checks are carried out. We have a hugely expectant crowd here. We just hope that the game lives up to the atmosphere. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Belgium. Finland have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There's a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm, I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works, it's still valid and... I think we're going to see it be successful here. So we're up and running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne. He's just one of the best strikers of the ball you'll ever see. And that applies just as much to his passing game as it does to his shooting prowess. He generally likes to keep things simple, taking as few touches as possible, but making every one of them count. I've got a feeling he's going to be a real handful for the opposition here. Yeah, he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Mertens. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Looks to clip it forward. It's a goal kick. Torkan Azar. Hoists it forward. Mertens. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have... And the shot! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. It's a loose ball. That shapes to shoot! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Hazard plays it short. Cleared away. And it's Batshuayi. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Hoists it high. Mertens is on to it and can take it up. Mertens. Has a pop! Goal! Belgium! And Belgium are ahead! 
That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Belgium take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Kings it out wide, gets it into the middle. And that should be the keepers. Tongan needed to come up with a better ball. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Alderweireld. And it's played forward. Torgan Azar. Azar. De Bruyne. De Bruyne goes looking. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Azar. Batshuayi. Torgan Azar. Mertens. Batshuayi! And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Aimed in towards the centre. It's well blocked, and back out it comes. And it's for Tongan. Hazar. Hazar. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Finland getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Tries to get it forward quickly. There are a few waiting for it. And shoots! Forward it goes. Alderweireld. De Bruyne. Mertens. He's pinged one through here. Batshuayi. It's gone a long way up and away. And the half-time whistle goes. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Gets things going for the second half. Finland need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by 
Just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. He spotted the run and played him through. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Talking as are. And it's Mertens. De Bruyne. Talking as are. De Bruyne. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Oh, nice touch. Aldebera is there to heave it away. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Vertonghen plays it in. Keeper has beaten it away. Talking as are. Hazard with the short one. That's a going for goal! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Forward it goes. <laughs> Company gets good distance on it. Plenty waiting in the middle. Defending of the desperate variety. Real chance! Azar. Talking Azar. Tries to get it forward quickly. Back to the keeper and go again. And it's played forward. Talking as are. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Lovely bit of skill. Oh, sweet feet. And he's away. Tries to get it clear. 
Finland are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Uh, it's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Batshuayi drives it forward. Just five minutes left. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Gets into some space. In comes the cross. And it's hoisted clear. He'll have a go. And that's caused a worry or two. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Merkins has been withdrawn here, but he's certainly made his mark. Yeah, he'll get a good ovation for his contribution. I'm not so sure why he's leaving us, though. There's no obvious sign of, of injury or fatigue. Company. And that is that. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? It's just a bad day at the office, Peter. They look below par in all areas, and it has to be cause for genuine worry.